everyone, welcome to Headshot College. So today we're continuing our series. Uh, last time I talked about two different ways of getting on a design team. So I talked about my kind of experience of getting on a design team. And then I talked about what I look for of selecting a design team. But today I want to talk to you about starting a blog. So lots of you last time asked me questions about, you know, what platform do I start on? How do I get started? How did I get started on creating Hedgehog Hollow's blog? So I thought today we could talk about that. And I've got some resources for you, um, some ideas, some tips, some tricks, you know, all those kinds of things for you. Uh, so I actually started Hedgehog Hollow two years ago last month. I can't believe um, how quickly that journey's been, but then in other ways, I feel like I've been making those videos and chatting with you all and seeing you all regularly, kind of forever. I feel like we've been friends forever. Um, but really I started it two years ago and we've really taken it one thing at a time. And that's one thing I'm gonna tell you is just tackle one thing at a time. You know, I started a blog, I bought a book, uh, create a, um, create a WordPress blog in a weekend or WordPress site in a weekend. And I'll add a link to that particular book in the description. And then really I've just learned one thing at a time, really through video tutorials and those kinds of things. And again, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare because Skillshare has really helped us learn so many different tools and techniques, both in the videography, the photography, the business side, and also creatively as well. Um, and there's so many different videos on there. Um, it's a learning community. There's only over 25,000 different videos. So you're going to find videos on all sorts of different things, fashion, photography, videography, business, um, things to help you in your career. And it really is a learning community. There's areas where you can sit and chat and uh, talk to other people um, and you can build that community, which is something I really like because I think we have a community here at Hedgehog Hollow too. So I'm all about being part of a community and building communities too. Um, the annual plan is less than $10 a month and the first 500 Hedgehog Hollowers who use our link, which again is in that video description for you, will get two months free access to Skillshare. So I know lots of you tried to get that link last time. Uh, so we have that link for you again and you can check that out. So go click that link, try out Skillshare, um, try those two months free. And I think if you're looking to start a blog or maybe you're looking to start a YouTube channel, um, we're gonna be doing this series and you can find out more about starting your own channel, your own blog and those kinds of things. So as I mentioned before, um, I started with WordPress. Now, many, many years ago, I did have a blog before Hedgehog Hollow. It is still out there in the ether. It's called In Vogue Stamping, and it was on the Blogger platform, which I think is now part of Google. Uh, it's a really easy platform to use, and you can still have a vanity URL, meaning you can have a www.yourblognamecom or .co.uk or .us, those kinds of things. If you are going to use a vanity URL, um, my recommendation is Namecheap, and I will drop a Hedgehog Hollow link again in the video description for you. Uh, you can check out my affiliate link down there. Um, we'll cover affiliate links in another video, but really having a www is a great thing to have. You can have your blog.wordpress.com or your blog.blogspot or blogger.com. Um, but it just means that if you are looking to grow into something bigger, you own that uh, website. And I really wish that I owned hedgehoghollow.com, but it wasn't available. It's a guy who is doing something um, and we've never been able to get that website. So that's why we added the, the into it. We used to be hedgehoghollow.co.uk. And when we wanted to move to a .com, we had to add the the in the T-H-E. So that's why we're the hedgehoghollow.com. So try to always own your .com would be one of my tips. And then I really like WordPress because the thing with WordPress is you own that content, you own that website. It's very flexible. You can do all sorts of things with it. The thing with Blogger is you have a template and you're kind of restricted within that template too. And Blogger have kind of more rights to things. Whereas with WordPress, you own it. It is all yours. Um, you have access to a million different templates. There are so many coders out there who can um, help you insert templates. There are videos out there. Skillshare can help you with different things. Um, you can use that subscription in there to learn different things, but it's just so easy to do. And everyone knows WordPress. It's one of, I think, the biggest web platforms out there because of how many people use it and it's free. So using WordPress itself is free and it's only the theme or some of your hosting and things that you actually have to pay for. So I love WordPress. It's great for SEO, which is your search engine optimization. You can get plugins and things for it. And we can talk about that in other videos, but um, I really like WordPress. And if I was gonna be starting out again, I definitely recommend starting with WordPress. 
Um, so I think, you know, that's a really great place to go with. Um, as I say, that book that I got was a really great place to start. And I just worked my way through that book and I really did build the website in a weekend. Over time, I've added a new theme in and I've done some customizations and we are in the process of redoing the website. But overall, it's a pretty easy platform to work with. So that would be um, my tips. And I would make sure that you have things like your Google Analytics set up. I would make sure, um, you know, if you're going to be doing videos, you can do them on YouTube. You can take your photos with your phone. Um, WordPress is always going to want you to keep your photos under the two megabyte limit. Uh, so that's something else that you can bear in mind when you're doing your editing. But really, WordPress is a great way to go get it started. You can do it on your phone, your iPad, your laptop. There are WordPress apps for your mobile devices. So you can do blog posts and things like that on the go. Again, super, super simple. There's also an app called Blog Lovin, which is something I use. First of all, you can get your blog registered on there so people can find you and follow you. But it's also a great blog reader and it's something that I use to follow all the blogs that I read. And so you can go in there, you can follow all the blogs you want to follow. And I just go in there every single night. It avoids me getting tons of emails into my inbox of all the posts that I want to read. And I can just go in there, I can read all my favorite posts, I can save them into different categories. I can love them, I can comment on them, I can do all of those great things. It's just a really, really easy way to follow blogs. And okay, and again, once you have a blog, you can get your blog registered on there so people can follow you. So there's some other tips for you. Um, and then again, just learn one thing at a time. If when you're doing your videos, you think, okay, my sound's my worst part. Go into Skillshare, find a video on sound. If you think, okay, um, I want to upgrade to a DSLR, which is how we film things, you can go in and you can find videos on that. If you think, okay, now I want to learn more about SEO, you go and find a video on that and you learn more about that area. So just always focus on whatever you think is your weakest link. And again, you can go and revisit my videos about being on a design team. We'll add a link in the top right hand corner for you. And you can find out more about my top tips for that. But again, it's all about consistency, doing the best with what you have. You do not need to have a ton of equipment or invest a ton of money. You can get up and running really cheaply. And in the next video, I'm gonna cover more about setting up a YouTube channel and some of my top tips for doing those kinds of things as well. Uh, so that will be in the next video as well. So I'm gonna talk more about some videos that you can go and find and, and get some help on getting set up with that and some of my top tips for growing your YouTube following if you're looking to do that too. Um, so as I say, in today's video, if you are looking to set up a blog, Blogspot, Blogger, I think they're now the same thing, um, but WordPress is really, in my opinion, the best one out there. If you're on um, the Blogger Blogspot platform, you can transfer over to WordPress. You can do it yourself with an app or you can pay someone fairly inexpensively. Um, people per hour or Fiverr with two R's at the end. They're great places to find people to help you do those kinds of things or get themes set up um, onto websites. But I'll add some links in the video description for you for those kinds of things. and You can go and check those out. And as I say, don't forget to hit that Skillshare button. It really is a great resource. As I say, it's a great community. You can ask people questions. You can find videos on pretty much anything. There's arts and crafts videos, the business videos. If you're looking to build that and become a design team member and build a blog and do those things. And if you're not looking to do that, you could look at fashion or building your career or, you know, there's really in 25,000 videos, there's a lot of different topics in there. And I find myself going down that rabbit hole most evenings. I have to say, I don't can't remember the last time we were watching Netflix. I to sit there on my computer and put my headphones in and Greg watches whatever he watches on Netflix. So that's what I spend my evenings doing. And the first 500 Hedgehog followers who hit that link will get two months free as well. So check that out. If you're on a mobile device, you might have to hit an arrow in the bottom right hand corner to expand that out but all of those links will be there for you. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you found those top tips useful. I'll be back again tomorrow, of course, with another tip trip tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. You never, ever know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And of course, give us a thumbs up if you found these tips useful. And if you haven't already, hit that join button because one of these might be your birthday card that we're sending out to you as a Perks member. And you can save lots of money on all of your crafty purchases too. Lots and lots of reasons to join. And I'll see you again tomorrow. In the meantime, happy crafting and I'll see you then. Bye.